This video is brought to you by Rocket Stocks Collider. Hey folks, it's Jordy here for Cinecam.net and welcome to Creative Tuesday. Every week we think outside of the box to share some exciting new filmmaking tips. And today we are looking at three famous Hollywood effects that are super easy to recreate inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And first up, we're going to take a look at Wonder Woman, where she's dodging the bullets being fired by the enemy soldiers. All the sparks from the bullets hitting her shield is quite easy to make. You film in a dark space and take some shots of a lighter. You don't want to film the flame, but the sparks that it produces. Another option is to where you take some shots of a grinding wheel. And this might give you better results. And if you are a miner, then please ask your parents to help you out when using a grinding wheel. Another option is to work with pre-made effects. And Rocket Stock has a brand new pack called Collider, which has over 150 particle effects, including sparks. And then, of course, film yourself holding a shield and pretend to be at war. In Premiere Pro, you put a layer of yourself on the bottom, and on top of that goes the spark. And with the layer selected, head over to the Opacity property and click on the Pen tool to draw a mask around the spark. Then back to the Opacity property, change the Blending mode to Linear Dodge. And this should remove the black. If it didn't, you can always use Lumetri to make the shadows deeper and the highlights brighter. And now just reposition and scale the sparks to where you have the bullets have their impact. You might want to adjust your mask so that it takes up the shape of the shield. Now duplicate the spark or take some variations of it as much as you want and arrange them over the timeline so that it seems like you're being hit by a thousand bullets. I also used some of the longer sparks that came from the grinding wheel as the bullets itself. The collider pack from Rocket Stock also has these bullet stripes, which you can solo out with a mask. Definitely make sure to check it out, there's a bunch of more things in there from dust particles, powder explosions, etc. So you can click the first link in the description below to learn more. Or if you scroll a little bit further down in the description, you can also find a download link with two free spark effects from the pack so that you can try them out yourself. Well, let's continue to Star Wars and create our own lightsaber. The only thing that you'll need is a shot of yourself swinging a stick or a samurai sword like Janik did. In Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm going to add a black video on top of my shot. On this black video, I'll add the lightning effect and change all of the animation values to zero. That is everything between the segments to stability. Then change the width to the thickness that you want and of course select your favorite color. Finally, from the opacity property, change the blending mode to screen. Now you want to select the lightning effect and you'll see that you have two points and you want to reposition them to cover the stick that you're holding or the samurai sword. Anyways, then enable the animation for both the start and the end point. It's a little time consuming now as you need to adjust the point's position per frame that you go forward, but the end result is pretty cool. As a final touch, you could also add the directional blur effect to the black solid. Now from here, you can animate a blur direction and length to recreate motion blur on the lightning effects. This is also the reason why I've created the lightsaber on a black solid. Moving on to the next Hollywood effect and we're staying with the superheroes and recreate a Superman liftoff. Essentially, it's not so hard. You film yourself jumping in the air, move away and take an empty shot. In Premiere Pro, that empty shot goes on the bottom. Your jump shot goes on top. At the point that you're jumping, you add a cut. Then right-click on the right part and choose Frame Hold. Then head over to the Opacity property, take the Pen tool and draw a mask around yourself. Then right-click on that clip again and choose Nest from the menu. On the nested sequence, you apply the Transform effect and animate the position so that you move outside of the frame. This is able to use Composition's shutter angle and set one of your own to get a natural motion blur. And that already gives you a lift-off effect. But there's an important asset missing, which is the ground that has to explode a little bit from the lift-off. And that's something iconic from the Man of Steel film. So we came up with the following. So we just had an ingenious idea by putting a ball into the ground and we would pump air into that ball until it explodes and that way we kind of have the impact of uh, Superman lifting off. But unfortunately, we broke the ball by putting the pin into it. So we can't do that anymore. Take two, Janik still had one of these balls in his car. So let's try and explode this one with a manual pump. So that also didn't work, we can't get the ball to explode. So we're gonna go to plan B and that is just throwing sand in the air, but then uh, behind the hill here. So let's try that. And everyone is probably thinking, why don't you just use stock footage, Jordy? Yeah, that was a lot easier. <laughs> now using the shot where we threw sand in the air as the empty shot made it look better. 
but I still believe that with some kind of an explosion in the ground, we could have had a more realistic impact. Unfortunately, sticking a fire bomb in a nature preserve park is not the greatest idea. As a final touch, you can nest everything together, apply the transform effect to it, and animate rotation, scale, and position to add a little shake to the shot. And that was it again! Thank you guys so much for watching, thank you Rocketstock for the support, and if you would like to see some more behind the scenes, then make sure to follow us on Instagram, there's a link in the description below. And like always, stay creative! So yesterday, Lorenzo here gave us an assignment where we had to make a horror film with sausages. That's right. I made Jordi and Jenny battle against each other with sausages, so if you want to see that, go to the second channel, Cinecom Raw. <laughs> Battle against each other with sausage. That really sounds wrong.